Back here in Atlanta, it was a huge show of support for all of those impacted. Christy Diaz has more about this heartfelt message as thousands showed up to pay their respects. The war in Israel is affecting people deeply and it created an overwhelming show of support in the heart of Sandy Springs. An overflow crowd on the grounds of City Springs gathered to send a message to a longtime U.S. ally in the middle of an atrocious war. Uh, the absolute brutality is just unfathomable. The hundreds outside, in addition to the thousands inside the theater, all standing together for Israel. From here, 6,000 miles away, we see your pain. Rabbi Mark Zimmerman helped organize buses from Congregation Beth Shalom in Dunwoody to bring people to the rally. Sandy Springs estimates 4,000 people showed up in all. At a time when anti-Semitism is ticking up around the country and around the world, uh, you have no idea how touching and reassuring it is to the Jewish community just to know that we're not alone, uh, that people care and people are standing together. As several U.S. airlines cancel flights to Israel, this is the community's way to be there for all of the citizens who are suffering and in pain. Too many lives have been lost, too many people injured, too many families are suffering. We care about you, we love you, we support you. We will never not stand by you. Rabbi Zimmerman's son is in Tel Aviv. He tells us his son is safe. Of course, as a father, there is nothing he wants more than to be there, but at this point, he doesn't know when he'll be able to go. Christy, thank you. Georgia Senator John Ossoff released his statement late last night while in a national security delegation in Asia. He says in part, in light of these terrible events, Leader Schumer and our bipartisan delegation are returning earlier than planned to Washington. We are determining what legislative response may be necessary to support our allies and protect Americans. And later this morning on the Today Show, they're gonna have a live update from Israel, as well as a look at the history of the region and just really how we arrived at the complete siege of Gaza. That will be right after 11 and Live Morning News.